If you would like to get this month's crystal reading for your sign for download and purchase, please click on the Vimeo link below this video in the show more section or visit my website, theluckymermaid.com and the links for these videos are posted on the most recent video page. Please be sure to check out my other psychic readings for each zodiac sign I have available there as well. Thank you so much. Wish you many blessings and peace. Hi Gemini, I'm Pam and welcome to your Psychic Tarot Reading for March 2017. This month I laid out the five card rainbow tarot spread for you using the Hanson Roberts Tarot Deck. And remember, these are general readings and to get messages pertaining specifically for you, you would need a private reading. This recording is for Gemini Sun, Gemini Ascendant, and Gemini Moon. Please be sure to watch your rising sign and your moon sign to gain more insight and information because some months they will definitely resonate more for you than your sun sign will. All that being said, Gemini, now on to your reading for March 2017. And the first card you have that shows up is the Two of Swords. And the Two of Swords is a card to me that would symbolize something being blocked, stopped, or a stalemate. There's a lot of emotions tied up here in that situation, and you may not know all the information. There could be secrets being kept, or you might just be in the dark about particular, some particular details or information. I feel like you want to be more grounded. I feel that there's some things you want to know. And I also feel that some of you may feel like you are stuck, like your life is stuck in some manner, in some area of your life. I feel that some of you Geminis feel like you want to keep things under control, but you may feel like some things are not really under your control right now. This could be your work life, your love life, could be a, you know, a mixture of things, your family life, your own health. Uh, I feel like you want to have some control, but I feel like internally or emotionally, you may not feel like you are fully and totally in control. I see some of you feeling like I need to come to some kind of closure or some kind of ending on some kind of situation. Uh, that's going on in your life. Like you want something to stop. Maybe your emotions are getting run away with you, or maybe you feel like you're getting taken advantage of and you want that to stop. It could be work situations, love situations. Um, I get that. I really do feel like you do not feel like totally loved or appreciated or both in either work or your personal life in, in some manner. Be on the lookout, they're saying, because you don't want some new opportunity that's coming into your field of vision to pass you by. If you're single and you want to be with someone, uh, pay attention to like who you run into, who you meet, who you get introduced to, who's around you, who starts new at your job, who you see at the food store regularly. Maybe you keep running into them over and over again. Uh, it could be a work situation. It could be a new job that's going to come sailing right by and you're going to hear about it, but you're going to ignore it because you're too busy with what you're already doing. There's some opportunity I feel that is coming into your sphere uh, of vision and into your you know, circumference of your life in some way that if you're not paying attention and have your eyes peeled for the signs or get alerted to it, it could pass you by and I feel like you need to pay attention. I know that sounds like a weird message because for some of you it's a job and for some of you it's a love partner. I can see that because some of you I see, oh, there's the job opportunity going by. But for other people I see, oh, there's the significant other that I'm, I could meet and have a fascinating love life with. But you may not be uh, totally awake and aware to it because you I'm not saying you're you know being a dope I'm saying you've got a lot of on your plate you've got a lot of things going on a lot of distractions going on in your mind and you may not notice it happening actually 
I, de I definitely see you want something to cease to exist, something you don't want to go on anymore. So that could be different for all of you. Maybe you don't want to gain any more weight and you want that to cease. Maybe you don't want to feel like you're getting taken advantage of or unappreciated by family members or coworkers and lovers and you want that to cease. There's something you want to cease in your life, I feel, in March. Second card you have is Seven of Rods. This is you holding back negative communication, negative uh, energy coming at you you holding it back keeping it at bay or you shutting the door on it it could be communications it could be energy uh, this could also be symbolic of work rods often are to do with work and communications and growth and development and advancement I see you're starting to see the writing on the wall I feel that some of you Gemini's are going to think of leaving your job maybe maybe you st you're starting to see them downsizing or you're seeing them change people's positions and you don't want your position to get changed in a net in a like boring mundane or downsized way so you may start to look for another job or look for some other situation because whatever it is Gemini I see you seeing the writing on the wall and feeling like you need to make some kind of changes this could even be in a love relationship sense or in the house that you have maybe you feel like it's falling apart and you're like man I need to or the neighborhood is getting like riff raffy and you're like worried about your you know your house getting broken into or your car getting stolen whatever it is you may make some kind of change like okay you know what I got to get out of here I got to move from this area move from this job move from something I, I see you seeing the writing on the wall and Gemini as I always say if these messages are not making sense to you watch your rising sign and your moon sign I hear it all the time maybe your sun sign is not talking to you here maybe your moon sign or rising sign has your messages if you've had a long-standing love affair with somebody that you don't feel is going anywhere maybe you want marriage or maybe you want it to go increase to a higher level but nothing ever changes about it and it always stays status quo or stays, stays the same uh, if it's a long-standing relationship a long-standing love affair a long-standing job whatever it is you may want to like you see again I'm getting that writing on the wall scenario you may want it to end you may want to you may be thinking about cutting it off ending it I see you thinking and saying to yourself I gotta get my act together I got to get my stuff in order either you're going to start packing boxes getting a resume out adding to your resume changing a resume going to job headhunters going to on the internet and looking for another job maybe you want a new partner and you are like well I'm kind of out of shape or I don't feel like I look my best you may start dieting exercising going on you know doing slim fast nutrient system joining a gym becoming a vegan or a vegetarian uh, I don't know it could be a, so many things here but I see you like looking at certain aspects of things in your life that you feel need to be changed altered revamped up upgraded uh, redone it could be your own physical body maybe you feel like uh, like the Tin Man, <laughs> like ee, 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 ee. maybe you need like oiling up those joints by physical exercise, walking, lifting weights. Uh, maybe you need to take costar chondroitin. I don't know that I'm saying it right. Uh, for joints, you may be having some arthritis trouble and uh, things bothering your joints. I wasn't joking about the Tin Man. Kind of yes, but kind of no. Here you have the Ten of Rods. Yay! This is a good card. This is you moving on to new and better horizons. It can be that. It could be uh, you know you moving to new and better horizons, but you have Ten Rods of Burden on your shoulder. Those burdens, you could be feeling overburdened as you move forward to the new and better horizons but those wands to me those rods they symbolize knowledge and experience that you've gained that are, are going to help you along to those new and better horizons you may be taking all your wealth and money and putting it into one basket so it could be a property you're going to buy it could be an investment that you're going to make or it could be a business that you're going to start those are the three things that come up to me first 
of what this new taking when I see all your eggs in one basket it can be all your finances or it could be all your uh, smarts your mental agility your business acumen your know-how your creativity it could also be those could be the eggs that you're putting into a one basket I feel like you're going to make new alliances with new people that are going to help further your career or your financial advancement in some way I see you getting out old antiques maybe silver polishing them giving them a new shine any old things that you put away that you haven't seen for a long time dusting them off and putting them out you could be like redecorating with things you already have or that you have put away and haven't seen for a while or that are family heirlooms and need a good dust and polish you may be buying some things like that maybe you're going to go to an antique store and you're like you know what I really like how things were made in long ago like new stuff doesn't last uh, it doesn't stand the test of time so you could be purchasing some antiques you could also even be refinishing some things maybe you have some old furniture and you're going to take it out strip it and refinish it or paint it repaint it uh, that also comes up here I get you moving out moving on traveling forward toward gain toward some kind of gain financial gain spiritual gain emotional gain mental gain physical gain any kind of gain in your life I get you moving towards it some of you may have some kind of monumentous event that comes like landing in your life that you're going to have to sort through it it doesn't mean that it's a bad situation it could just be a daunting task with a lot of intricacies and ins and outs that you have to weed through sort through and handle it could be you maybe have to handle someone's estate it could be that you are handed to some gigantic huge project at your job that has a lot of intricacies and interwoven parts that you have to sort through and handle it's not something you can't handle Gemini because you can handle any task that's given to you even if you may be emotionally overwhelmed by it you will handle it and soldier through it and sort it all out here next you have the six of swords this is often moving to me this could be moving your residence it could be long distance travel it could be you moving towards something better in your life like to brighter and better shores of situations doesn't have to be a physical move but many times this does come up for me when people are going to move or moving is on their mind or moving is in their near future or in their future I hear you're going to cast a wider net this is going to take uh, like in the area take place in the area of hunting for a new job so casting a wider net you could be going further away than what you thought you would do to travel for jobs or it's casting a wider net in broader themes from what you actually know how to do it could be a wider net like where your knowledge could still apply to some broader types of companies businesses uh, it could that could be the wider net it could also be you could be casting a wider net if you're looking to meet someone new and maybe you've only looked in like on dating sites and that didn't work out for you so now you're going to cast a wider net or a wider net of a variety of different kinds of dating sites or you're going to join meetup groups or you're going to start to attend some kind of gatherings that you think you might be able to make a connection and meet someone new whatever it is you're casting a wider net Gemini I feel that you've got some surprises coming up here and I feel that some of you are going to feel like you found money so maybe casting this wider net you're going to get new job opportunities will open up for you and it's going to be like wow this these positions over here and these kind of companies actually pay better than what I've been doing over here in this it could be casting a wider net if you own your own business maybe you're going to start and adding in more products more services get another website join in partnership with other people expanding your business in some way it is not three of Pentacles here it is six of swords but I am getting that you're casting a wider net 
I feel that many of you will be making some kind of monumentous kind of move between now and next February. I'm recording this video on February 15th. So even though it's for March, I have to do them ahead of time. They take several days and then they get edited. Uh, so it takes a while. It's not a quick process to do these videos. Uh, but I am getting between now and next February, you've got monumentous things happening here changes, moves of, of different kinds. I get that many of you are going to get a new opportunity that's going to get presented in your lap. And some of you, it does feel to me like a new job. If this happens, you may have to move for your job. Maybe you're the area you live, it's going to be too tedious and too far away of a commute. Or uh, you're just going to be making more money, so you would like to get a different kind of place. Uh, smaller or bigger or more modern or you know whatever I just you could ha you could not all of you but for some of you Gemini's a move is involved in the change or these monumentous occur occasions and occurrences and changes that are going to happen in this year from February of 2017 to February of 2018 the next card you have here in the layout is the Five of Swords. Now, Five of Swords can be tricky. Fives usually indicate loss or conflict uh, of some sort or struggle. But Five of Swords is, to me, the strongest of the fives because it's standing your ground. It's drawing a line in the sand. It's standing up for yourself against naysayers, gossipers, detractors. I feel that many of you Geminis are going to be getting yourself situated in a new job or you're going to get entrenched and ingrained with new and different people that you're going to be traveling in new and different circles with. First, it comes up as job to me. Secondly, it comes up as socially to me. I do see many of you Geminis taking a big risk or a gamble and putting something out there. Now, maybe you're going to do your own podcasts on YouTube and that's the chance gamble or risk you're going to take. Or maybe you have a book you wrote or a play you've written and you're going to get it out there to see if somebody will pick it up and publish it or use it. I also see some of you becoming more astute in your knowledge or training. I also see some of you really putting your foot down and saying, I'm going to stop this cycle of pain. You are not going to do this to me anymore. So you could be standing up against family members, uh, siblings, parents you could be standing up against uh bosses co-workers could even be love relationships where i feel that you're putting your foot down and you're saying you know what this is going to stop right here you're not going to do this to me again you're not going to take advantage of me you're not going to make a monkey out of me you're not going to run me around uh, run me around in circles and run me ragged so I do see you standing up for yourself and stopping some kind of cycle of that you feel is causing you pain. I do see that. But because it's a general reading, Gemini, it's going to be different for all of you as to what area of your life that is you are going to stop it. For me first, it feels like people close to you family members that are doing this, pushing your buttons or, or uh, jerking you around in some way, mentally, emotionally, or spiritually, and I see you putting your foot down and putting a stop to it. That does come up. Um, after that, after family members, it feels like work to me. And often in psychic readings, it's weird to me, but family and work people often are kind of hard to discern which is which but it is a general reading so that's the way those are the ways it's coming up to me here if you feel so frustrated by jobs and work situations I see some of you not all of you some of you Gemini's getting so fed up with it you start your own business your own company your own firm uh, you could start it as a sideline or a hobby and then it could pick up and gather steam and you could be like, look how much money I'm making here. I don't need to do that. I can quit the other job. You may do it that way, but that's not going to apply to all of you. But some of you I do see taking matters into your own hands. 
you don't want to have to eat your words so be very careful and thoughtful and judicious about the words you use when you are making declarations of standing your ground and standing up for yourself in March. I'm not saying not to do it. I feel you need to do it. But be diplomatic. Be diplomatic with the words you use because they could come back to haunt you and you don't need that. Um, in some regards, Gemini, you're being tested in March. You're being tested. But I see you doing well. I see you coming out on top even even through the test so i hope this reading was of help to you i certainly hope it made sense i want to thank you so much for watching sharing and liking my videos thank you for subscribing and for google plusing i do truly appreciate that and please remember to subscribe that way you'll get notified when i post my uh, readings here on youtube and i have added psychic crystal readings for the new moons, the full moons, and the eclipses, so you might, might want to check those out. Um, also, I'd like to say here too, Gemini, if you'd like to get a continuation of this reading where I look into my crystal for you for the month of March to see what additional messages my spirit guides have for you for this month, you can access these videos for download and purchase by clicking on the link below this video in the Show More section. And it will take you to my video Vimeo, Vimeo videos, Vimeo videos on demand page for March 2017 psychic crystal readings for each sign of the zodiac. You can also access these videos by going to my website, www.theluckymermaid.com, clicking on the videos tab on my menu and going to page nine. And it's a drop down menu. You scroll down on that page and there you will see the headings for March's crystal readings for each sign. You just click on your sign and it will take you to that video on Vimeo. I wish you a marvelous month of March, Gemini. And know that I wish you many blessings and peace.